Hey YouTube, Night 16 here, and uh, today I have sort of a cool little leather project for you. Uh, if you've played with leather or if you've bought a remnant bag, um, I know you've had scrap from this size to this size, and uh, most of y'all, I hopefully not, but you've thrown away pieces this size. I try not to throw anything away. I always try to think of what I can do with something. So today I'm going to show you how to make a leather gun keychain. And uh, I had some of these left over laying around. Uh, these are actually G.I. Joe pistols. <clears throat> and uh, I know none of y'all have any of them or ever have owned any of these, but uh, I had a few of these laying around. And I thought that it would be awesome if I could make a leather uh, gun keychain. I just thought that would look cool. So uh, I got up at about 12 o'clock at night, <laughs> turned my lamp on, and traced some of these out because I didn't want to forget. And uh, it just, I think, I think it turned out pretty good. So uh, that is like one of the best ones I've done, I do believe. And uh, that's actually this gun. But this is made out of craft leather, and craft leather doesn't work quite as good, so the heads up on that, because it's real flimsy. It's okay, but I think you're going to be a little better off with the thicker stuff. And here's one with the light. So, uh, I don't think the light worked out so great. It was just an idea I had. But I'm going to show you how to make something more of these lines. These are just a couple I made. So, let's get into it. Now, all you're going to need is a little piece of scrap and a G.I. Joe gun. Now if you cannot find a G.I. Joe gun or if you've never owned one you can always print out a gun off of the internet. That's that's doable. But it seemed to work better for me just to use this. Okay, so what you want to do is take your leather and turn it up where the hair is on the back. The skin side's out, the flesh side is up. And go ahead and lay it down on the flesh side and take a pen. Now this is a green pen because I'll be able to see it better. And also brown does work a little bit better better, excuse me, than black. So just go ahead and trace this. Trace this as good as possible. And if it's not perfect, it don't matter. Okay, let's turn this around. Make sure it's still yeah, it's still lined up. I think. And uh, the darker, the better. Okay, so that's how it should look. About like that. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Now, I think it did turn out a little better out right there, but that's okay. I was trying to get it on camera. And so just go ahead and uh, cut out your gun. And uh, I'm just using a nice pair of scissors. Uh, pretty much any kind of scissors will work. Although for leather, you want a thicker, heavier pair of scissors. And these are actually uh, pruners that I got out of Sears uh, Gardening Center. Seem to work pretty good, actually. And they come with a lifetime warranty, so check them out if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper than buying. From just a pair of uh, leather shears from Tandy. But again, with any, with a little bit of work, any pair of scissors will work fine. Okay. Cut a little bit more off right there. And there we have it. That's how you do. A leather keychain. Now, something that will make this a whole lot nicer is if you go ahead and punch a hole in it and you can put a keychain on it. And the way to do that is either uh, get you a pair of leather punches. You can get them at Harbor Freight for a couple bucks or just use a nail. So thanks again for watching. This has been Night 16. Night out.